Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think today is the 19th. <laughs> pretty sure because I think I uploaded the 18th today anyway it is a little after 5 15 and today has been a kind of like a weird day it's been a weird day so I woke up early this morning as per sort of usual, I guess like not all the time but so I woke up this morning I was so tired I don't know like what sort of energy I had these past few weeks where I was like getting up and like feeling fine but Mm -mm, it's gone so I was feeling pretty tired whatever like had my morning and then so my best friend and I we call each other but instead of picking up this is gonna sound really bizarre but we've been doing this literally since we were in college I want to say so a long time uh, we will call each other and we'll leave each other voicemails so we'll call we'll like leave like you know anywhere from one to four voicemails and then we like listen to them and it's like it's a really nice way of like not putting the pressure on either one of us to like answer the phone or you know like and we talk like we talk in real life <laughs> it's not like we only communicate via voicemail but it's just really nice and it's something to look forward to and it's, it always makes me happy to like look at my phone and see like oh I have a voicemail from my best friend and so you know it's it's really nice and again we've been doing it for years and years and years and you know now it's crazy because she has a baby and you know so many years have gone by so it's so lovely anyway she so she left me a bunch of voicemails I listened to them this morning and then I was going to call I was going to call her back and the woman the woman the woman who deletes your voicemails or tells you to leave a voicemail she was deleting all my voicemails she was deleting them all and I kept calling back but then there was like only so many times I could call back and leave the same voicemail over and over again before I got like annoyed. So that was that. Then I got home and I got home today at around like, my last client was early. Like I got home around like 1230, <sighs> which is crazy because then I was like, I wasn't really tired but I knew that I had kind of a long, not a long night tonight but I needed energy for this evening. So I was like, you know what? Let me force myself to take a nap. And like bless the days when you're a child and like taking naps are like invigorating and amazing because I feel like when you're an adult and you take a nap, it's like almost the opposite. That being said, I do think it'll help tonight um, and just keeping me awake. Um, it might not give me more energy, but it'll definitely keep me awake. So anyway, took a nap. I took a nap. I took a nap like a child. I took a nap. Woke up had dinner had dinner at like 4 30 and now I'm on my way to the dance studio so it's been like one of those weird days it's so weirdly similar to the days that I had in the city in that like I had days where like you know I saw clients in the morning and then I taught dance at night and like I didn't enjoy it then and I don't enjoy it now like I don't like having such a spread out awkward schedule it's just not my jam but I guess that's the price you pay when you have, when you've chosen very, I don't know, non-conventional careers, I suppose. Pilates was only ever supposed to be, I, ended, I got my Pilates certification because when I finally decided that I was done with the cruise ships, when I didn't want to work on the cruise ship anymore, I knew I needed like a job to sustain myself as a young adult um, while I was like auditioning and, and I still wanted to pursue like dance and acting and stuff so I got my Pilates certification of course it was something that I was interested in and as a dancer it was a very like natural transition oh my gosh so much traffic I'm definitely gonna be late I need to text my boss oh um so fine but then it just like Maybe because it's a client-based profession, but it's just, it so quickly takes over your life. And I found it to be the same in the city. It was like, it just, and I love Pilates and I love teaching. And like, I just don't like when I feel like I don't have control over my schedule. And like, I don't have control over my day. And that's when it like, that's when I have like my mini like little freakouts, outs. Um, or just kind of like feel gross. Anyway, 
I feel like we're getting to the point in these October vlogs where you see me just like wearing the same clothes all the time. <laughs> and I'm so that person. Like I love my wardrobe and I, I love clothes and I love shopping for sure. But I have a tendency, I do, to just wear the same clothes over and over. And especially when it comes to like my work clothes, which are literally just workout clothes, I tend to just re-wear the same stuff over and over. Um, how are we feeling about this sun? I can't win here. I can't win. It's always sunny and it's always so hot. Sunny, sunny I don't mind because that was a huge reason why we were excited to move down here. Sunny is fine. It's just the heat that's starting to like make me a little crazy. It's almost the end of October and it's still like 90 degrees out. Anyway, okay. I know I'm blabbering. Anyway, the reason I took a nap was because I have a long night tonight. I'm teaching and then I think I'm going to stay and take class after, um, I'm gonna take a take a contemporary class so that'll be fun I haven't taken a contemporary class in a long time I'm sorry for the shadows on my face I'm sorry anyway um also I am I'm really happy that everyone's been loving the what I eat in a day video and I I am definitely gonna make more I like I really loved editing it and putting it together and I don't know I just I I love watching them I love watching other people's I think that they're really inspirational and sometimes I just think it's nice to like see like what do what do people eat what works for them and then like can I try that can I like somehow figure that out I'll leave it at that okay I love you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this super rando a rando rando car vlog but aren't they all random aren't they all just like super duper random Anyway, my oh my, so much traffic. Unpredictable, that's the thing, it's quite unpredictable. Okay, I'm gonna go, cause I'm sitting at a red light now and I should um, phone my boss and just let her know that there's a lot of traffic and I may be late. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all really soon. Bye guys.